What is up YouTube? I'm back once again with another DIY Tesla Pell update video. Now you may have seen from the last video my plans on um, future proofing for 48 volts. Um, this is the follow-up video to that where I'm going to be um, pretty much following through with what I wanted to do. So, so this is pretty much going to be the video where I tear down the pack in order to make the 14S pack that I'm planning on doing. Stay tuned for that. Um, it's going to be a bit uh, sad because these packs are pretty much perfect. Besides the few fuses that are ripped from, you know, taking the battery apart a little bit. Pretty much perfect. It took a lot of time to make. But I mean, in order to make this power better. So pretty much this process requires me to pretty much get pliers, um, turn these on their side, because I've done this before, and ripping it from here. Uh, so pretty much just ripping it from here and all these fuses have just come straight off. So I'm pretty much just going to grab it here and slowly and painfully just um, there's actually a bit of force pulling these off, so... And there we go. These here were actually repurposed from my old pack, which you may have seen from one of the old updates where the pack actually fell down. This is not the original pack that you guys saw um, a year ago. This one's actually been rebuilt the whole lot. So these are actually the original boss bars. They weren't twirled. Um, they're not as nice. The soldering is just kind of gross. So these are going straight in the bin. Um, they've been used twice now, and I could use them for the third time. As you guys can see, um, if I come closer, there is still like still fuses on these because it's soldered, so it's not going to come off super easy. But that's okay. It shows that my solder connections were pretty good. Oh, well, here I'm going to do a bit faster this time. See, maybe if it improves the amount that comes off. So that was pretty quick. You can probably put that in slow motion and you can see that. Same thing. It actually ripped the cell holders off. Uh, it's about the same result. So pretty much moving to the next one. This isn't the most content ever. This time I'm actually going to put it in slow motion um, see if you can see the fuses come off. I'll put it a bit closer. So these are all done now, excluding that one I will get to later. Pretty much all of these are destined for the bin which they probably should have gone in there before. Sometimes you might as well just um, get new ones. So these are pretty much ready fuses off the ones that didn't come off with the uh, bus bars so this is going to take quite a while um, and then obviously do both sides and yeah obviously be careful because these are really sharp they, they kind of poke you pretty bad I'm going to do that now I'm not going to bother putting on time lights because you guys saw that just wasn't working um, it, it's really hot out here and everything's just the, nothing's really working like my phone just shut off because of temperature and I think my camera is kind of overheating and freaking out you may have just seen that then um, so I'm going to do that now, set the camera down, and uh, yeah. So I've now finished taking off all the fuses on the tops and bottoms of the cells. Um, so as you can see, um, probably 90% of them are done. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty keen on getting these transferred into the into these cell holders here. Um, so now it's just a matter of taking off the tops of these cells and getting them evenly distributed into these pack, into here. And then from there we will start putting in the other cells that we have that are untested. So you guys might be wondering, am I retesting these cells? No, I'm not. Um, whatever ratings on here, um, that's what I'm going to be going by. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take the tops off these, and um, I'll be back with uh, you know the transfer of the cells into those packs.